The people decided that we're going to do something with the town, we're going to do something with our church. People believed in miracles, that we could do something. People started to come to the church one at a time. I went around and visited. If somebody said, go visit them, I would go visit. They would invite them as well. It wasn't just me. But I had to do my part, and that's what I would say is the summary of this church is everybody doing their part. Everybody that comes has a role that they play, and if they will do that, the joy of the Lord comes through. They feel that joy, and they get the benefit of feeling the joy, and we get the benefit of them coming to church and feeling the presence of God. I'll tell you, he's just a real personable person. And he goes out and knocks on doors all around the community. He's active with everybody, inviting people to come to church. And he's not pushy. He's just fun to visit with and makes it very welcoming to come. And then people do come. And when I first came here, there was maybe four people here going to church, you know? And sometimes it would, then we'd have seven or eight, you know, and then it kind of grew up to 10. and. Now we're getting, you know, 28, 30 people, sometimes a little more than that coming to church. And it's like we're getting a little congregation going here, you know. But he just makes people feel really comfortable. And I think that's the whole part of it. It's just really grown. And I can feel it growing more all the time. And, and you know, we're getting to be a little hustle and bustle around here. And we're getting some young couples in. And uh, the women all get together and we cook and have suppers. And it, it's just a great feeling to come here. Happy, happy feeling. He came and started talking to people, which, you know, new ministers come in and they'd call the ones that was on the register. And they'd always have someplace else or didn't want to come back or some reason. And that would be all you'd hear from them. And he came in, he started the coffee club, you know, and it was not church oriented, it was just to get together, to get to know the people. And once you get to know people, then this person knows this person and the word kind of spread and it kind of has gone from there. My Holy Spirit has just opened up here. And I always felt it, but not like I've felt it out here. I can't explain it, but I feel so comfortable here and I, I just love being here, you know, and I think everybody that comes here is that way. and. Uh, People were here before, we're happy, it's growing. When the district superintendent first met me, two weeks after I'd started, she says, how many people do you expect? Or how many people would you call um, a success? Or how many people do you want or believe we should have in that church? And I just pulled a number out of my head, 25. And after I said it, I almost rolled my eyes because I thought, like, that's going to happen. Because I'd already gone around and, and visited people and nobody had really come. Last Sunday we had 31. You know what? I don't think anybody was really surprised because De DeMuro is such a terrific person, you know. We're, I'm just scared they'll take, his, take him away from us and get some other church to grow, you know, because he's done so well here. But he's just got that uh, magnet personality that I don't think people were really too surprised. They're very happy, but I don't think they was real surprised because he, he, just, he just goes above and beyond to, to please people and go see them and do that extra mile, you know. Our reward actually is seeing people. I mean, it's nice to be noticed and recognized, but it isn't going to change how we do things and what we are. We're going to keep on reaching out and letting people know that God's here and He's, he's working through DeMurl into us and letting everybody know that we're here. Our service, worship service, is all about God or we try to make it that way. It's we're not here to look at individuals, we hope to meet our friends, but we're here to worship God together. And as He empowers us, we can use those gifts that He's given us. I love this theme that we've got for our VBS. I'm wearing it as heroes. And every one of us has a superpower that's been given by the Holy Spirit. We don't want to believe it. We want to leave that cape in the, in the closet. But He's called us to be superheroes in our area. And people don't want to believe they've got that. But we have the power from God to do this, to transform our world, transform our own souls that we might be the people of God to the community.